the bank transaction flow. <clears throat> what is a bank? A bank is a financial institution. It is a financial intermediary that accepts deposits and uses these deposits to lend. So it is a link, it is a connector between people, between entities who have money on one hand and who need money on the other hand. When we as depositors deposit money in the bank, it is our asset, our money at the bank. However, as far as the bank is concerned, this same deposit is a borrowing for the bank and therefore it is a liability as far as the bank is concerned. The bank compensates the depositor by paying interest. This is an expense for the bank. On the other side, the bank lends money and gets interest as income from the borrower. This lending is an asset for the bank and the interest is its income. Deposits are largely of three or four kinds based on the rate of interest and more importantly, the frequency of transactions. A current account is opened by business houses. There is no restriction on the number of transactions. There may be n number of deposits and n number of withdrawals. However, the banks do not pay any interest on these deposits. Largely, as mentioned before, these are opened by business houses. And during the course of our discussion on bank reconciliation statement, the bank account that we would be referring to would be the current account. The savings account, on the other hand, is largely opened by households, people who have regular monthly income. This is deposited into a savings account. This, there is some restriction on the withdrawals, may be limited to four to six withdrawals a month or restriction per quarter, but there is a restriction. However, there is a higher rate of interest, a nominal rate may be, may vary between three to five percent. The recurring deposit is a saving scheme wherein a fixed sum of money is put into the deposit every month or every quarter for a period of one or more years. This carries a higher rate of interest. However, there is absolutely no withdrawal till the expiry of the term of the deposit. This is like a saving scheme. A fixed deposit is a deposit wherein a lump sum money is deposited for a period of 6 months, 1 year, 2 years, 5 years or 10 years, a fixed term of time. Only on expiry of that term is withdrawal allowed. There is therefore no withdrawal just like in case of a recurring account and this also carries a higher rate of interest. <clears throat>